Yellow Rose is the story of a 17-year-old undocumented uh, Filipino teenager whose life is ripped apart when her mom gets picked up by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and she's forced to go on a journey uh, to sort of find what her next home is. Basically, it's a story of this undocumented family who really wanted a better life. Um, but because of the some circumstances um, and some people who fooled them into thinking that they're okay, and um, some uh, like lawyers who weren't that good and just took the money and then left. So they were in a tough spot and they wanted to do what's right, but things happened and they got caught. So what's gonna happen next? So that's the story. I love the fact that we were actually in Austin and it just gave me a, a, a better characterization of, of the mom. Like uh, seeing the actual, like the set where we held the, the shoot, um, it was in a motel where they actually lived. The setup was just perfect, you know? And then um, it helped me uh, really visualize what things could happen if things happen in this place right here, right now. And it was just easier to do the shoot knowing that this is all real and it's not just sets and you know walls made of just wood and um, it and the heat <laughs> oh I could only I, I I felt so sorry for um uh, Ava and Liam when they were shooting inside the car with the windows up with no air conditioning in 110 degrees and I saw the the sweat <laughs> So, that's Texas. I was oh, like, yeah, that's, leave it. That's, that's how that's, hot it is. That's Texas. <laughs> I went to college in UT. I'm hook of horns. Um, and it was just great. You know, I mean, I live in New York City, so I hadn't been back in a long time. And um, I kind of wanted to have this sort of faded, dusty memory of Texas. But I also wanted to honor what was really happening in Austin. So what was really interesting is that Broken Spur, when I first shot there for the short, was just in this sort of dirt road. And then by the time we shot the film, there were two huge condos that went up on the side. And you'll see it in the film. And it was almost like, wow, that really is how Austin is changing. You know, um, the, the, this world of tech is crunching in on this, you know, world of country music and that kind of, you know, tradition of what Austin is. But it was great. It was hot. It was hot. It was 107 degrees, 110 degrees every single day. Princess shot, we shot in the armory for all of the detention center scenes, which is an abandoned um, airport or school or something. And no air conditioning. We shot all of the prison scenes in one day. Princess had like, I don't know, 20 setups. I don't know, I don't even remember. It was a lot, sweating, hot changing back and forth, looking miserable. And it was good because you really looked miserable. <laughs> you really you really were miserable. <laughs> it's believable. But I love Texas. So much of the movie is a love letter to Texas. I hope that comes across. It's 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 like a love letter. There's no other place in the world that would produce a Dale Watson. You know what I mean? That would produce a broken spoke and I wanted to capture that. I was so excited to see the final cut of the movie and I was also elated with and very much touched with how much the people related with the film and they actually verbalized telling us not just Filipinos but people of different race and uh, backgrounds uh, saying how much they felt like oh this is my you were you were like my mom and you know the people related to the story that was really fun. You spend a lot of time making a film, but until you show a film to an audience, in my opinion, does it become a real movie? Because it's not just making it for your own you know, gratification. It's about this interaction between the audience and the film. And so you don't know quite what you have until that moment, until last night. And I was overwhelmed. I couldn't, I, in all honesty, I was like curled up in a ball outside the door. Cause I was like, I just was like, I, I just, I, I hope people like this. What? And then I just kept hearing laughter and I could actually hear crying, you know, like I was like, there were a lot of tears. So it's so gratifying that people have taken the film to heart 
you know, so many people like that was me. That meant so much to me. And um, from the music to the story of immigration, simply seeing a Filipino story on the big screen, so many people just really embraced it. And then people that didn't have any experience with any of that, just to get that experience, they were thanking me and felt grateful. So I'm a little bit more now on a mission to get this to a wider audience because so many people really did respond to it. We're just really proud of it. For me personally, a lot of people that I know who are in this situation don't really know what's going to happen. And with the movie, somehow hints are being given. Oh, if your child is uh, um, not yet an adult, this is going to happen. And these are the this is the process that's going to happen if you get arrested. And it's educational, and yet it's presented in a way that's not like you're in a classroom. So uh, that was really one of the things that I really liked about the movie. I think for me, I mean, this film has taken on several iterations in the script because it took so long to get it financed and made. And, and um, you know, I think when we got to this final script, Trump has already entered office and there was so much anti-immigrant sentiment at the time we were writing this final script that it was really important for me to follow Princess's story, like to follow her and through the process, as she says, into the detention center and what that's like. Um, and the fear that you experience beyond just Rose. So that changed in the script because of the world we live in, because of the toxicity of people putting us over here and over there and you're like this and we're like that. And the whole point of the film is to say, we're all moms, we're all daughters, we all have a family, we all are looking out to give the best lives for our children. And that that decision to come here or stay here and break the law was is not meant from a malicious place. It's meant from love. And I really hope that's a message that comes across in the film. And I think it's the kind of film we need to heal the toxic ugliness that's going on in our country and in our world. So I hope that people get take that away. And I think they did. I think they did.